And now let's take a look at your weather. Uh, Ronell Williams here. You described weather like this as kind of soupy the other day, I heard you, because it does feel like you're just in a hot, kind of sticky, blech. Especially with the humidity. Temperatures, oh, though, yeah, not as, <laughs> not as warm as they were yesterday, but still, nevertheless, still warmer than normal out there. 80s really across the board, and with the humidity up there, yeah, you can definitely feel it as soon as you step out the door. And although radar, not really a whole lot going on right now, at least in our area, of course, expecting that to change later on today. Very important that we're all weather aware today, especially later on this afternoon into the early evening hours. That's when uh, any storms that we see could uh, possibly be severe. So look at Storm Track 5 live power Doppler radar right now. The Kansas City Metro, we're actually looking pretty good. A uh, little bit of a light shower just to the south of Ottawa in uh, or around Garnett and also well up to the north of the Kansas City Metro trying to push into northwest Missouri. There was actually a lot of lightning just to the south of Falls City, but those showers, thunderstorms will continue to lift into northwest Missouri until we get into the uh, early evening hours. I think things will remain mainly dry, still keeping a very slim chance that we ourselves here in Kansas City maybe see a brief shower, thunder shower between about 1, 3 o'clock this afternoon. And then after that, that's when we'll have to watch out for the possibility for some severe weather. So currently 80 degrees, clouds winning the battle between blue skies. And as far as uh, I can tell, going into the rest of the afternoon, it looks like things should be pretty dry going all the way up to about five o'clock. Notice I still have a chance for a shower or storm, only about 30%, but then by the time we get into about six, seven o'clock, that's when thunderstorms are starting to look a little bit more likely. Still gonna be pretty warm until we get into late night hours and any rain that we see should start to cool things down. But keep in mind the possibility of severe weather right now under a slight risk where we see the entire area covered in yellow. What this means is that there's the possibility of scattered severe storms, not expecting anything widespread with those main risks being large hail, potential for quarter sized hail or large Strong wind gusts could see those uh, gusts with any stronger storms get up to maybe 60 miles an hour, possibly higher than that. And of course, whenever we're dealing with thunderstorms, got to watch out for that lightning as well. So by the time a lot of you get off of work, if you plan on uh, picking up the kids late from any after school activities, just remember when thunder roars, make sure you guys go indoors. Forecast track. I think this is what's left over from anything that kind of passes through, especially up to the north. Notice a lot of our southernmost counties south of Kansas City, things still looking pretty dry in the four o'clock hour. As soon as we get to about 6, 630, I think that's when we'll start to see some thunderstorms develop, especially in the Kansas City metro. Things turning more scattered by the time we get into the hour of around sunset shortly uh, before that. And then well after dark, I think that's when we'll start to see some scattered storms really take over. And with rain, thunder continuing into the overnight, we may see some pockets of some heavier rain continuing all the way into early tomorrow morning. So we also need to be on the lookout for some flash flooding. Those leftovers continuing into early Tuesday morning, but the rest of the day should be pretty dry from there, even though forecast track trying to pick up on a maybe an isolated shower during the day. Security Bank seven day forecast rain chances really going down from there, but we'll still have to be on the lookout through the rest of the week. Emily. All right. Thank you, Ronell.